to delve a little bit more deeply into it. And um, I'd like to move into some Q&A now for a little bit. And then uh, if we uh, uh, run out of, at, at some point, I will stop that Q&A. And then we will uh, go into uh, a wrap up. So Q&A, what, what can each of us do is the, uh, the general topic I'm going to toss out there. Um, but I'll answer any questions that have arisen um, throughout, the, uh, throughout this um, session. All right, so let me read a question. Um, one of the questions was, I'm not sure what you mean by embeddable SIMs. Um, do you mean that you can now, for the first time, embed Stella models into web pages? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. So that Ning website that I had there before, I'm the manager of that. Um, and I was able to, um, through managing it, go to a page today and actually stick it right in there. So, um, for example, you know, in, in, uh, in this dashboard here, um, if I go to this and I click this link right here, I'm going to do Control A. Um, I haven't tested this, so this may not actually work as I expect. But I can uh, add to the dashboard. And the way I did it was I went here. And I embedded this. I'm actually not going to practice it now because I just don't. And, and I popped it right in. And I did it again. I did that this morning, um, you know, again, after about 10 minutes or so of, of work. Um, there's several other questions that are listed in terms of uh, written questions. So let me uh, go back to those. What is the policy 80% of 1990 levels or 20% of 1990 levels. Um, the policy is really 20% of 1990 or 80% below um, 1990. So that's the, uh, the answer to that question. All right, let's look at some of the other questions that are out there. Uh, again, uh, folks, you can also raise your hands um, as well. All right, so what is the URL for simulation one or does C roads include sim one and C2? Um, the URL for SIM1 is um, going to be on, the, uh, on this page here um, that I'm going to load up now. So uh, we'll be posting this live later. OK, there will be a link on the home page to it. All right. Um, are there any ways, proposals, to increase outflow of CO2 from the atmosphere? Um, there are. and. Uh, in the simple models that I just uh, showed, we didn't, uh, I didn't put a little lever in there. Um, in the sea roads and sea learn models that you can get from the Climate Interactive, which are more sophisticated yet than what I just showed, there um, is a, a lever for uh, increasing afforestation, which is increasing forests, doing more planting, and increasing the sequestering of that. Um, Currently, um, in this work that Climate Interactive has been doing, they have not added any um, features to the model around some of the technologies that are being put on the table around capturing carbon um, into the model. Um, the, a lot of that uh, is um, not um, you know, documented well enough for the, for the team to, to model or to try to, to put in there. So um, I've got one about the other um, questions Let's see what do we got here. Can I see a question? Um, which type of countries should immediately act to reduce emissions? Well, all countries should um, immediately act, obviously. But um, currently, if you look at the simulations that we had on the table um, around this, um, again, if we move back to this one, which is going to take a second to uh, to occur, you can see that uh, you know the projections currently right now. The developed nations are greater than the developing, and uh, developing B in particular is, is well down there. So developing or developed countries are contributing more currently. So obviously we have more of a uh, responsibility, and because we've put in more than 75 percent, around 75 percent in the atmosphere now, um, we have a responsibility for that as well. Um, but all nations need to be thinking about uh, ways to, to reduce that. Um, one of the questions that was up there was around the cultural issues and the cultural uh, uh, dynamics associated with that. And you know, I I uh, am am well aware of the the uh, arguments and the uh, the rationale that's put up here is very rational looking, and there is a lot of issues associated with um, inequity, 
racial injustice, poverty, um, all types of uh, things like that. And as I said before, the, the mock uh, negotiations, the Copenhagen climate exercise of climate interactives, does a really good job because you're acting out the parts of different um, roles around the world of, of bringing to the table of surfacing our mental models about different uh, nations and different cultures and how that is also playing into this. So for those of you that are really interested in the diving into and understanding those, those topic areas, again, running an exercise, making it live so that you can put that data and information on the table through conversation is the best way, I think, to, to explore it. Um, this particular simulation here, and again, the other ones that are out there in Climate Interactives, shows the per capita emissions. And what's interesting is even though the developing A's um, emissions, if you looked at on the emissions chart here, are expected to exceed developed in the future on a per capita basis, in other words, per person, they're still far less than what will be expected for um, the developed nations. So obviously there's a huge inequity issue here that needs to be brought forth, discussed, and um, addressed in some way to, uh, to uh, handle and, and work on the situation. So built into this particular simulation, there is uh, the per capita. And again, this really shows the distinction. So in 2100, the developed per capita would be here. Um, this is partly due to the developed nations actually leveling off or um, even um, uh, decreasing population. And this um, is, is still greater than the uh, developing A's and developing B's. Um, somebody wrote in, Chris, for the food impacts, I was shocked to learn that what we eat has a far greater impact than the distance has traveled. Um, of course, buying local has so many benefits. Um, thanks, great webinar. I tweeted about it a couple of times. Um, so that is that is an interesting uh, observation, and uh, I've also heard that and I haven't delved into the numbers, but there's a website that this person um, put up there for those of you that are interested um, into knowing more about um, the types of food eaten. Um, look at meatlessmonday.com. And I'm assuming that what uh, she is referring to is that uh, when you eat beef or uh, anything that's, that's more energy intensive in terms of growing it, um, that that has a greater impact um, than the distances traveled. All right. So there was a question about the rational perspective, cultural issues. I already addressed that. Um, let's see. Um, there's a, a question in here about, you know, I, do you think that education and the flow of information is our best gun? Um, I don't know what the best gun is. I'm only doing what I can do, which is um, applying systems thinking and system dynamics to issues. Um, and I think that um, one of the problems in terms of getting policies enacted is a general lack of systems thinking, understanding, and awareness of the population. And I do think that raising awareness, not necessarily of the issues, but of building thinking skills so that people can look through this, is one way to, to help make sure that uh, you know, things improve. All right. Um, we're going to take uh, about another three minutes or so of questions, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Um, what, uh, oh, there's a question about the future sessions. Let me grab that right now. So one question is, what are you going to cover in the next three sessions? And uh, for those of you that will sign up for the, uh, the longer term uh, uh, seminar, webinar series, we'll be covering population dynamics. And um, that will be of particular relevance because I will relate that back to climate change issues. So the first topic that we'll be discussing in about a month will be population. We'll then discuss um, issues um, around um, water. And then we'll also discuss issues around um, commodity modeling. All right, um, let's see if we can get, uh, we didn't get a, a call on before that we tried. Um, sorry about that. Um, let's see if somebody's voice can come through this time. So um, I've got. Raul uh, de, de Vela and Franca on there? Yes. Can you, uh, are you there? Uh, what what would, would be the, the gap between uh, 
eating locally and not 